Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the 2001 running of the NASCAR New Year's Eve Spectacular from the Daytona Air National Speedway here in Daytona Beach, Florida. The 4th annual running of it under the lights and 14th annual running of it overall. We got a record field on hand tonight, 22 drivers looking to duke it out for the $1 million grand prize. Um... So let's just jump right into the starting of the lineup. On the front row, Jeff Gordon. Drivers to on. your cars. Sitting next to Jeff Burton. Steve Park sitting next to Rusty Wallace. Sterling Marlin sitting next to Kevin Harvick in row three. Tony Stewart and Bobby Labonte in row four. Ricky Rudd, Johnny Benson row five. Dale Hart Jr., Dale Jarrett row six. Mark Martin, Bobby Hamilton row seven. Bill Elliott, Elliott Sadler row eight. Row nine. Ricky Craven, Ward Burton, Michael Waltrip, John Andretti, row 10, and rounding out the field, Joe Nemechek and Robbie Gordon. Now, now Mike Skinner did win originally in the 31 car. Um, he is not eligible to run the 31 car anymore because it's Robbie Gordon's ride, and Robbie did win at New Hampshire. Gordon will lead them to the line to the green flag. Get a record feel on hand. And let's end off 2001 with a bang. Green flag in the air. Here we go. A million dollars on the line. line already starting to prevail. Park and Sterling Marlow getting a good run on Gordon. Gordon a two-time winner of this event. Marlon also a previous winner. Give a shout out to our four newcomers in the field tonight. Johnny Benson, Robbie Gordon, Elliot Siler, and Kevin Harley. All making their debuts in the New Year's Eve Spectacular. As Gordon comes around to lead the opening lap as Tony Stewart moves in behind him in second. Now Stewart going to try and go to the inside. Does he have the momentum trying to get past Gordon? Looks like he does. Tony Stewart now going to the lead in his third attempt to win this race. Got another former winner behind him. Two-time winner Ricky Rudd and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Mark Martin, also a two-time winner behind them. As they come down the back straightaway. And as they come into turn three, we will have a ceremonial silent third lap in honor of Dale Earnhardt and all the tragedies lost on September 11th. We will go silent. The fans will go silent. Starting now for the third lap. Stork continuing to lead. John Andretti had to make an emergency pit stop. That's going to put him a lap down. He's going to off pit road on the bottom. Some trouble there for the 1997 winner. We 
saw a lot of DEI dominance on the play tracks this year. Dale Jr. getting two wins, Michael Waltrip getting one. The only other winner on the play tracks, Bobby Hamilton at Talladega in the spring. So far, the DEI drivers are not really showing themselves. So this is Michael Waltrip back there. In the 15. Dale Earnhardt Jr. just a little up farther than the eight. They're yet to hook up. But interesting start there. And up with our teammate Steve Park, who's also in this race in the car. Now we got a pass for lead Mark Martin going to the inside of Stewart. And the 1999 winner Bobby Labonte behind him with rookie Kevin Harvick. Only rookie of the year contender in 2001 that qualified for this race. Harvick got two wins, an emotional win at Atlanta, an inaugural win at Chicagoland in July. Mr. Wallace, the California winner this year, again. He is still yet to get his first win in this event. He has qualified for every one of the New Year's Spectacular so far, yet to win. Had some close calls. He's gonna get shoved up. Johnny Benson. They come around to complete six laps. The Gibbs cars were had some speed on the plate tracks this season, just could never finish the job. Be interesting to see how they're able to execute their speed tonight. As Johnny Benson moves in the second. and then Steve Park. And Jeff Burton, the outside pole sitter, finally starting to make some ground back up in that 99 car. And while our pole sitter, Jeff Gordon, stuck in the back of this group after leading the opening few laps. the eight car, Dale Earnhardt Jr. again. Victory lane he saw last time we were down here in July. His teammate Steve Park is going to go to the lead. Pushed by Jr., then Rudd. Partly in that lap, first time he's led tonight. There, it's a million dollars in their bank account, and well, not in their bank account, but for the team. Automatic entry into this race for the remainder of their career, and how huge would that be for some of the underdogs? Like Steve Park, like Johnny Benson, you know, drivers that don't run up front all, all the time, don't win a lot. How huge would it be to get another ent entries into this race? Even Elliot Sadler, Michael Waltrip. Huge would be to get an automatic entry into this race every year. And you have a shot at that million dollars that could help boost ratings, boost the funding for the team. Or just be another event to race in. Continuing to 
lead. Now it's going to have Mark Martin behind him. And by Rusty Wallace. And then again, Labonte. And Ward Burton. Oh, no. Oh, Mark Martin back to the inside. He'll take the lead. get to the inside. No, he's going to sneak up behind Mark Martin instead of trying to go inside for the lead. Be interesting to see how the Dodge Camp is able to utilize their speed. Is that enough to take the lead? Now well, he's going to have Rusty Wallace behind him, so yes, he will take the lead. Robbie Gordon, Joe Nemechek, Elliot Sadler among them. So Sadler's still pretty far, still pretty close. And right now, I have lost the draft. Means it could come into factor in breaking up this one. That or green flag pit stops. We've seen before drivers usually need to make about two stops. Especially with the tires, tire wear here. But, you know, the record amount of cars, possibility of a caution for them. winner helping Tony Stewart first time seeing Elliot up at the front today short still of halfway through this first run. Tires might start to be wearing out a little bit. Tires starting to get a little bit looser. Have to work with more of the racetrack. Allowing that inside conveyor belt to prevail. Stork goes to the inside, help with, oh, and Sterling Marley going to try and leave Jeff Gordon out to hang as well, but Stewart's going to get to the inside and go to the lead. And help from Marley. Leaving Jeff Gordon out to dry, he was going to try and jump down behind Stewart. Mark 
Martin also the hey, hold off for him. The front four leading all on the inside. Double Stoli Marlin out. Mark Martin going to the inside. Definitely seen Stewart as one of the faster cars. But speed really not. Speed is key always, but not as much as pit stop speed. And also choosing when you pit, who you pit with. Making sure you have a good pit stop. George got three wide behind him. With Martin Hamilton and Harvick. Stewart continuing to lead as we come up on the quarter mark. Away. These two have a history, remember Bristol back in the spring. Stars had a pretty successful season. He's going on obviously winning the championship. Stewart had a pretty solid season as well. Top 10 points finish. The Rudd's runner up in the points, but nobody really could touch Gordon much of the season. As Burton shoves right out of line, moves in the third, Rudd will stick in the fourth, Elliott fifth. Second, help from his Robert Yates teammate Dale Jarrett. And the bud number eight, Dale Jarrett. Not the Jarrett Dale Jr. And now Jarrett going to the inside of his teammate. Sneak in behind Stewart. Now Jarrett going to go for the lead on Stewart. It looks like he's going to get the line. Stewart's going to lead the lap, but Jarrett's going to have the lead for the first time tonight. Help from Wallace and Bill Elliott. up some spots, helping from his teammate, Steve Park, or is going to come down and fill the gap. Jarrett and Wallace. Oh, we got three wide. 
with Rudd. Elliott and Stewart, daring move by Ricky Rudd. Don't want to get close, too close to that yellow line. Remember the yellow line rule. can all but take you out of contention for this race being so short already 22 laps in and having to pit all alone not even pit just pass through penalty can't even make a pit stop Rod stays stays above the Our forward breakaway here at the front. Two Yates, a Penske, and a The Ford's different this year with fuel mileage. They can't hold as much fuel as you've seen, especially in these plate tracks. So it'll be interesting to see if they, if other drivers are going to adjust to them when it comes to a pit stop cycle, or they're going to be hung out to dry. Rudd is going to be hung out to dry. His curtain ducks underneath him. time since the beginning of this race that we've seen Jeff Gordon up front and going to the lead does he have the momentum Jared's gonna lead the lap well, it looks like Gordon will get the spot help from Park Rudd Harvick Drivers, NASCAR themselves, and shout out to our new broadcast sponsor, 2001, NBC and Fox, Mike Joy, Alan Beskwit, and Alan Mack, all of them. It was a long year, it was a rough year. We all powered through, and now we get to celebrate tonight, hopefully. Unifying as one tonight. Taking a selfie to come up with some lap cars. Robbie Gordon and Joe Nemechek both still on the lead lap. Tail end. 
John Andretti already a lap down. From his emergency pit stop on lap three. Lap on the line. Joni Ocek will hang on on the tail end of the lead lap. With Andretti still a lap down. Now they go underneath Nemechek and Andretti. Elliot Sadler has also lost the touch of the lead draft. He's a little further ahead, though. Leaving 19 on the lead lap. Has now parked those underneath. Nope, oh, fast forwarding. Park again. Now we've passed 40, 11 laps to go. Find the leaders. Picked up with uh, Dale Jarek here. Who's in 12th position. wonder who our leaders are. Jeff Gordon on pit road. Looks like we're in the middle of the final green flag set pit stops here. Here's our lead group, led by Ricky Rudd, Rusty Wallace, and Bobby Labonte. Unknown, though they still have yet to make a pit stop. Here, 10 laps to go. have to make a final pit stop or will this be the battle for the win? Rudd already a two-time winner looking to become the first three-time winner. Labonte looking to join the two-time winner group and Rusty Wallace looking to win his first ever New Year's Eve Spectacular. Now nine laps to go. Really close to each other, bumping up next to each other. Now Labonte goes to the inside of Wallace. Not able to come down and tell her. And there goes Rudd off the pit road with Wallace. That puts Bobby Labonte out front by himself. With eight laps to go. He has no drafting help, but is the leader. I know he still has to make his final pit stop, but it's pretty likely that he does. And he'll come around and make the pit stop this time by. And he does. Bobby Labonte, the leader to pit road. From the lead, coming to seven laps to go. That'll let Joe Nemechek get a lap back in the 33. Here, this is Dale Jarrett, part of the lead group. Junior, lap car, and Stewart, right up, getting past now. Oh, somebody got trouble. Smoke. 
coming out of the back of the 21 at Elliott Sadler. That looks like an engine failure. Unknown if that will bring out a caution or not. Happened going down the back straightaway. Track lights still green as Jarrett takes over the lead with Earnhardt, Rudd, Labonte, and Stewart in front five. Six laps to go. Tough break for Sadler. It was already lapped down. But we'll not see the checkered flag in this event, and his 2001 run is over. reel them back in. Five laps to go as Rudd moves into second. Now is Stewart. Do they have enough momentum to get inside for the lead on, Jar on Jarrett? Looks like they do. Ricky Rudd to the front. With Stewart and Labonte to Gibbs cars. Two Gibbs cars, two Robert Yates cars, and a DEI car. Looks like they're going to be the ones to duke it out. Here in the final laps. Three wide. Jarrett shoved all the way to the outside. Stewart also on the not preferred line. As Labonte moves to second with Junior going to third. Four laps to go. Rudd back out front, looking to become the first driver ever to win this event three times. He's the inaugural winner of the New Year's Eve Spectacular. Bobby the Body, the 1999 winner. Looking to join the two win club. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. moving into second spot. No, now he's going to get passed on the inside. We're going to have three wide action again, will we? Yes, Dale Jarrett's going to go three wide. He'll try and take second all by himself on the bottom. And that is just what Labonte wants to see. Try and keep himself out front. So here they come, three laps to go. Now Jarrett back up front, and he's going to go to the inside. Does he make the pass for the lead? Yes, he does. Going to the side, Dale Jarrett to the front. Does Labonte come down and cover his teammate? He does. Stork moving to third. Now Stork going underneath for second. Does Rudd go with him or stay on the outside? He'll duck down behind Stewart. Side-by-side racing, just what Jarrett wants to see now. Stewart does clear him. Now they gotta run him down. Two laps to go this time by. For Dale Jarrett. Still looking for his first career win in this event. The Rocky Million Dollars and automatic entry into all future events. Jeff Gordon, our pulse there. Who the hell will this affect? Everything. Jarrett gonna go to the outside. Gordon wants to the bottom. Stewart gonna go with Jarrett. But unable to make a pass. Jarrett sets the pick beautifully and pulls away as they take the white flag. We're on the last lap in 2001. Rewind behind him as Rudd moves in second. His teammate can Robert Yates get a 1 2 finish in the New Year's Eve Spectacular. Trying to run 
down. Last time down the back straightaway in 2001. Dale Jarrett. Going in at turn three. Down the bottom of the in a second. Can he get to his bumper? Labonte goes to the inside. Is it going to be enough? Jarrett coming down to cover. And Dale Jarrett will win the 2001 NASCAR New Year's Eve Spectacular from Daytona. Labonte, Rudd, Stewart, Earnhardt Jr. in the top five. And Jarrett playing some excellent defense on that last corner. And using the setting the pick perfectly. Shades of Dale Earnhardt to pull himself away and win. What a finish. Jarrett, a million dollars. Automatic entry into all future new spectaculars. As that's going to wrap it up here from Daytona International Speedway, everybody. Enjoy the final hours of this year. And we'll see you next year in 2002. Dale Jarrett will be there. And who else will be there? Find out next year, guys. This is Pringleson TV Incorporated signing off.